Alright, so got a fish. This is gonna be the first thing you see because I've been having some difficulties. Come here, big guy. Having some difficulties with the GoPro and the SD card getting file cannot be repaired messages and SD card issues. Did you choke it? He choked that sucker. Oh man. It's because I was too slow to set the hook on you, buddy. Need to get some new pliers because those are a disaster. Alright, there we go. Let's see what you go for. And you might be a little over, so. Lucky for you, if you're over, that means you don't get to go home. Alright, my dude. Look at that water. Gorgeous. Alright, buddy, go keep doing what you're doing. It's a wee bit windy for me out here in the open, especially throwing the fly rod. So we're going to go ahead and try and scooch on over to that shoreline, work along it. Still seeing fish tailing all over the place, but there was a school of about seven or eight reds over here, tailing away, having the best time, and spooked them twice and circled back up and was able to get one of them 27 and a quarter hopefully the first of about 15 today that might be a little bit ambitious but we should be able to at least get a few more especially once that sun gets up that is the plan for now i'll see you back here when we see one looks like we got some up there on the next little point, seeing some tails going. They're over there. How are we gonna get to them though? So we gotta get a look. I'm stuck on mud here. Even the canoe gets stuck on mud. Let's see if we can push off. Uh, just a garfish, it looks like. Actually, that might be a red. All right, there's Dan. I knew I heard something. L-O-L. Dan's got his GoPro up over there. Not GoPro, his drone. Damn it, there it was. You got me spooking one, so that's something. I need Dan to have a microphone on that thing, a speaker on that thing, so you can say, Robert left, to your right, 20 yards on your 2 o'clock. They were there, I was right, and I spooked them. <laughs> uh, I think that thing's going to scare more fish than I do. And we have entered into full on sight fishing mode. Dun, dun, dun. We are on the back seat of the canoe, getting that extra little height. It really makes all the difference in the world. Just getting up that that little bit more, it's much easier to see down into the water. Then, still not happy with this clarity. Got a couple of gadwall swimming right along the shoreline, straight ahead. You probably can't see them on the camera. Pretty far away from me. But they're going to be jumping up when we get closer to them. Might go try and tuck up in these ponds right here. Which will be where those gadwalls are going. Let's 
see it should flush up soon. Oh, there they are. See them right there. There we go. Adios, amigos. The problem with trying to sight fish reds with water like this is that you will see them. But probably seven times out of ten, you see them too late. And you're on top of them, you can't get a cast off on them, and you spook them, they're gone. I can't tell what this is. Oh, it's red. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Too long, baby, too long. Dude, are, you, are you kidding me? What did I do? What did I do? Was it literally the sound of the fly touching the water next to the canoe? What? What? I do need to be quick on that transition though, because that was way too slow. And a big one over here. Came out the water just now. Oh, the paddle. Oh. Oh, they're everywhere right there, and I must have got I knew it was a bad hook set. Oh no. Oh, I didn't have the angle to strip set him. Well, I got one, and uh, I think the camera is dying, and yeah, so don't know how much of that shot we got. So the two fish that I missed, that I got so far today, have been missed on. Stingray, chilling out. There you go. Well, definitely not the trip we had hoped for, but got to explore a new area, saw some fish, just not able to get good cast off on them with the wind. Every time I would go to cast the fly rod, it would just get pushed to the side or thrown right on top of the fish, or I just couldn't get any distance to it. But still learning experience next time i am not gonna rely 100 percent on the fly rod if it's windy i am gonna use the conventional
that answers that. No bueno.